All right, so July is ice cream month. So I'm, I'm going to show you different ways to make ice cream. And this one is easy. It just it takes a little time and your hands get cold. So you need some baggies. So this one is a gallon bag. It's the bigger one. And then I have the quart bag, okay? You need some sugar, some milk or cream. Um, you can try almond milk but it might take longer. So this works better with whole milk. I'm going to make a second version with chocolate milk. You also need some vanilla, ice, which I have in a bag over here, okay? And then you also need some salt. So I like this ice cream salt, okay? I actually found this at Target, Walmart, and also uh, Amazon. And then I also have rock salt, which is used to melt ice during a the winter okay this is it you're not eating any of the salt it's actually used to melt the ice you also need a teaspoon a tablespoon a half a cup measure and a third of a cup measure okay so I'm going to make two versions so I'm going to use the regular milk and then also um, chocolate milk okay so first things first you need a small baggie, so I'm gonna move these bags. And in this small bag, you need a half a cup of milk. So here's my half a cup. And I'm just gonna move my camera down so that you can watch. All right, so here's my milk. Here's my half cup. Okay, um, so I'm actually doing this alone, but it is a a good activity with somebody because of the bag, you have to keep it open. And I like these Ziploc bags. It's easier to zip. Okay, so here is my milk. It goes into the smaller bag. Okay, next, and I'm, I'm just leaning it up against here so that it won't spill. Next, you need a tablespoon of sugar. So you can use brown sugar as well. I just have this white cane sugar. Okay, and you add that in. Okay, just like that. And this is for a half a cup. If you make a cup, you would just double everything. So one cup of milk, two tables, two tablespoons of sugar. And then with this half a cup recipe, you need a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. So that's basically just a little okay so I'm going to add that in there so this just makes a regular vanilla ice cream if you want to after you make it add chocolate chips marshmallows um, chocolate syrup that works as well so I'm gonna take out the air squeeze it close it and then flip it to make sure it is sealed okay now because of the ice I will double bag it just to make sure I don't want any of that salt in it okay so I always like two bags all right so this one is set I'm just going to take out the air all right so this is our ice cream okay next in the big bag I'm going to put about three cups of ice Here is my ice, and my um, refrigerator was kind of on overload, so I actually got some ice. Okay, so I'm going to add some ice into here. And bear with me, it's easier just to add it and not measure it, but it's about, I would say, over half of the bag, half of the baggie. Okay, it's about three cups. This is about a cup. And you can use this ice mixture over again, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna pour in the ice. There we go. That's probably a little too much. So I have science, you know, is making a mistake, so I definitely poured too much in, but that looks good. Okay, so it's about a quarter of the bag. Next, I'm going to take a third of a cup of the either ice cream rock salt or the rock salt that's used, and I just pour it into the big bag. 
Okay, so this is all the setup. It has my ice and it has my Aroxol. Next, I take my baggie that has the ice cream mixture in it. So it's half a cup of milk, one tablespoon of sugar, and a quarter of a cup of vanilla. And I put that in there. I make sure there's no air and I seal it. Next, you have to flip it. So what happens is I'm doing this, and this will take about five minutes, maybe longer if it's hot out. You might want to wear gloves or work with somebody else, okay? And you're flipping it, and what happens is the rock salt melts the ice, but the freezing and the melting point are the same temperature. This is 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. So you're actually freezing the milk as the ice melts. Okay, and just make sure that it is sealed. If it's not, you might have to double it. Okay, and I just had a, a rip. It just opened up. So if it pops, you know what? If it pops, like I had it, it opened up, you can always double the bag. So I'm glad that this happened. I mean, because it's hot out, so the bag might be more sensitive. So I would just double. And this bag broke. So you have to just be careful. So I'm happy the all these mistakes are happening during the video. Okay. So you just want to double there. Put it in carefully so that you don't break the ziplock. And it's easier to work on this outside. There you go. So I have some air in here, so I'm just going to let it out. Okay. And I might press forward this, so I'm just going to do this. And it gets very, very cold. It actually gets freezing. So I'm recording the time. And you can eat it out of the bag or have a cup and I can pour it in. And your hands get very cold and wet. It actually goes good out here. You just don't want the rock salt on you, but it will actually evaporate the water. Condense the water. Sorry. And after about five, five minutes, you can actually check the ice cream and see if it's actually getting hard. The longer you actually do it, the more it actually turns into a hard ice cream. It will melt pretty fast though in the heat. So you, you would actually make this quickly and then, I mean, um, make it and then eat it quickly. If you pop it in the freezer, it will stay cold. But this is meant to be eaten right away. So, I'm just going to check it. It's been a few minutes. And because I have the two, it actually makes it easier to check. Okay. Um, you can actually see that it's still liquid. Okay, so it definitely needs more time. Okay, I'm going to close this one. I'm going to close this one. And keep flipping. And as you can see, it's turning watery. And it gets very, very cold. Very cold. Very cold. You have to take a break. My hands are extremely cold. <laughs> So you don't want to pound it, okay? So you just want to make sure that um, it is closed. And I see something is open. This one's open. So I'm going to close this one. I don't want to leak it. No, this one's not open. Okay, so there we go. Just take it out. 
there. So even if the big bag leaks, like I doubled up here, as long as the small bag, and I would definitely recommend you double up on the ice cream bag itself. Okay. Ooh, it is really cold. So I'm going to stop it and come back. Okay, so it's been about 10, 15 minutes. I had to add a third bag, but I believe we are ready. So you're making sure that you don't get any of the salt on your bag. And here is my original bag. So I'm gonna move the ice out of the way. And I have a spoon. So I'm gonna open this. Okay. And then here is my ice cream. So the longer you do it, the harder it gets. But if you look at it, you can eat it right out of the bag. It's ice cream. Okay, so if you wanted to put uh, chocolate syrup, and it actually tastes very good. Okay, so good luck. Okay, so I'm going to make ice cream in a jar, and I'm going to make two versions. Okay, so this is an old uh, pickle jar. And then this one is also an old pickle jar. It should be about this big, about 16 ounces. I need heavy cream. I need some um, sugar, okay, white sugar, okay, and some vanilla extract, okay. And I'm going, to, oh, and a, a pinch of salt, okay. So here's some salt. And then at one of my versions, I'm going to make strawberry ice cream, and I have strawberry preserves. Okay, so this is very, very easy, and it'll be ready after you make it in about three hours. So I also need a cup, a teaspoon, and a tablespoon. All right, first things first, I'm going to take a cup of heavy cream and pour it into one of my jars a cup into my other jar and be careful okay then in each of them I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of sugar so the bigger measuring spoon and I just scoop out one make it level so one one and then on the half I'm gonna eyeball it Okay, so this is about half of a tablespoon into each. All right, that's the sugar. And now I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. So here's one. And if you have a half teaspoon at home that makes it easier, I'm just going to eyeball it because I've actually made this. Numerous times. Okay. And that is that. And then a pinch of salt. So I have some salt here and literally a pinch. Okay, so here's my salt. I'm just going to put a little and a little. Now, in my one of my jars, if you want to make flavors, I'm going to take a tablespoon of strawberry jam. Okay. I'm going to make strawberry ice cream. Okay, so I'm going to spoon that in. Okay, if you have um, fresh fruit, you would add about half a cup of berries. So blueberries, strawberries, just to chop them up. Okay, and that is that. Here's the jam. And this part, this takes about five minutes, but you're going to have to shake. So I'm going to do one at a time, and you just make sure that it's tight. So you might have to ask a parent to really tighten it, and then you just shake it. So I'm going to do both, even though I'm more of a righty. So for about five minutes, you have to shake. It's actually some good exercise. And if it's hot out, you can always do it outside and then come in. Okay, so once again, it's just heavy cream. Vanilla extract and white sugar. Okay, it's actually easier if I do it one at a time, but I'm going to try and do both. 
them, one of them is doing well. <laughs> I'm going to do one at a time. Okay. And I'll face it forward. This you can always face forward this. So that's how easy it is. So don't, I mean, this is the only hard part is the actual shaking. Okay, so I'm going to take the other one and shake it as well. And the jar has to be at least this big. Okay, if it's this big, it's also fine. So I'm shaking, it's been a minute. I might fast forward this, or you can always. Or I might speed it up. So I'm going to come back after five minutes. Okay, so I've been shaking for five minutes. And as you can see, it looks almost as thick as brownie batter. Okay, it actually looks as good as it is. But to make it into ice cream, what you need to do is you actually put this in the freezer for about three hours. Okay, so I'm going to put it in my freezer for about three hours. And it's easy to tell when it's ready only because it will actually pull away from the sides. See how it's clumped up in there? Okay, so I actually shook it for about five minutes for each of these. Okay, and then I'm going to come back after about three hours and you'll have ice cream. Okay, okay, good luck. Okay, so I have my two freezer ice creams. Here's the strawberry one and here's the vanilla one. And as you can see, they're hard. I'm going to open it up. So this is after three hours, so it's very hard ice cream. Okay. Tastes good. Very rich. Vanilla. And this one's the strawberry. I added some strawberry jam. Right? Very good. Not that strong strawberry, but you can actually taste it. So, good luck. Okay, so this is the bonus ice cream recipe. Okay, and I have some of the supplies out. Um, first of all, I have heavy cream. I have condensed milk. Okay, one can of it. I have cocoa powder, a can opener, half a cup measure, and then I also have a two cup measure. So the first thing I'm going to do is take cold cream, and I need two cups worth. So I'm going to pour it out. Okay. Two cups, which equals one pint. So if you know what uh, the metric, okay. And I'm going to pour it into my mixer. Okay, so I actually brought it outside so I could show you. Okay. And I'm going to mix this until I get soft peaks. So once I start, right, you can always um, fast forward this. So I'm going to lock it into place. And Okay, so now I'm back, and here's what you'll end up with. They're kind of like soft peaks, okay? So now I'm going to add my can of condensed milk. So I'm going to open it up. So you probably have to ask your parents for some help, you know, with the mixer and maybe opening the cans and all that stuff. And I'm just going to pour that right in. I'm going to turn my camera so that you can see. 
and I have a I'm just gonna scrape it out okay. All right, and then I'm going to add my half a cup of cocoa powder. So here's my cocoa powder. So this makes chocolate ice cream. So once you get the hang of this, you can actually do different flavors. You can add stuff to it. So here's my half cup. And then I'm just going to mix it carefully until it is combined. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here. Okay. Okay, so it's been whipped in and I'm just taking off the mixer. Tasting it, it actually tastes very good. It's kind of like a dark chocolate, but it's very good. And then I'm just going to mix this just to make it even and then you just pour it into your pan cover it and you put it in the freezer for about six hours or overnight so I'm just mixing it okay so it actually looks like that so it kind of has a nice consistency it's kind of airy okay and you can use a bread pan uh, like a, a loaf pan I just want to spread it out more so and then so I'm going to mix this up, pour it into my pan. Looks good like this. It's almost like mousse. And then tomorrow, I'll actually take it out and I can show you. I'll either take a picture or a smaller video and attach it here. Okay, so this is the extra ice cream recipe. Okay, and it's a very rich chocolate. Okay, so then you just spread it out. I'm just making it as even as I can, and my dog is about to bark, so hopefully I am done. Okay, and of course you can taste this, because all it is is just milk, um, cocoa, and condensed milk. Okay. And then I have cling wrap, you can open that up and cover it and then put it in the freezer for at least six hours or overnight. So here it is. Okay, try to have it not touch like I did. Okay, so you might need help. You can also use a smaller pan. It's, so it's thicker, okay, and it might be easier. All right, and you just put it in the, in the freezer. Okay. okay, so this one is a little more advanced. Um, we already made a chocolate freezer ice cream, so this one is the vanilla. So once again, I have my mixer. I have heavy cream. I have condensed milk, and I actually have fat free condensed milk. So you can take out some calories, but it tastes the same. Um, I also have a vanilla bean, or the easier version is with vanilla extract. So this makes vanilla ice cream. Okay. And um, yes, it's, it, it's um, the same method as the chocolate. Okay. So first I'm going to put two cups of cream into my mixer. One, two. Perfect. Okay. And I'm going to beat this until I get stiff peaks. Okay. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to pour the condensed milk into a separate small bowl. Okay. And I have my little, um, spatula thing to get it all in there okay and if you taste it it tastes very sweet still even though it's fat fat free um you can also use regular of course okay and now you have a choice if you want to be fancy um this is a vanilla bean and 
what you would do is that you would just split it. So you might have to ask for help, but I'm gonna lower my camera a bit and just show you just cut it in half, okay? And then you would scoop out the vanilla bean seeds. So I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna add some vanilla beans and then I'm, I will also add a vanilla extract. I love a vanilla as well. So the beans, and I'm gonna show this up close. They're very small and dark, okay? So I'm just gonna put that in there, okay? And it's they are, ha, offer a lot of flavor, so it will taste like vanilla, okay? So I'm gonna mix that in there. But I'm also going to add my two tablespoons of a vanilla extract, okay? So I'll have a very, very vanilla tasting ice cream. So that's one and that's two, okay? So that is in there I'm, um, and before I, I mix up the whipped cream, I'm just gonna stir this together so that everything's in there. So you can use two tablespoons of vanilla and or the vanilla bean. It's a whole bean. You split it in half and you add the seeds in there. So I'm just mixing it up so that it, it gets all mixed. I actually put in some of both. Okay. And I'm gonna put this on the side. So on the vanilla, on the whipped the cream, I'm sorry, I'm going to lock it. And then I'm going to make stiff peaks. So I'm going to actually stop it now, and then I'll come back to show you um, what it looks like. But it should take about four minutes. Okay. Okay, so I am back. It actually took about two minutes. So it's very, very quick. And as you can see, I have stiff peaks. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to sh show you what it looks like. So this is the um, whipped cream. I mean the cream, which I whip. So it's still pliable, but it's holding it together. So I'm gonna get all of this off. And now I'm going to fold in. So here is my um, condensed milk and my vanilla. And I'm going to pour it in. Okay, just like this. And it actually smells a lot like vanilla. And then folding in is like this. You just go like that and you mix it in. Just like this. Okay, so it will be a little runny with the um, vanilla extract, but I'm just mixing it in. Um, you could also whip the whip the cream a little more. It's also a warm up today. So, okay, so it it will end up looking very creamy. Um, you can also taste it to see how the vanilla e it is. Okay, so you can put this in a nine by fifteen um, loaf pan. I'm actually using a nine by thirteen, and I'm just gonna pour it in, and then sp spread it out put some plastic wrap on it, and then I will freeze it for about six hours or overnight. So tomorrow I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just getting it all in there, and I'm gonna show you after I spread it out. So I already made the chocolate one, so I just wanted to give you the vanilla one just to show you that you can make this freezer ice cream very easy it's three in ingredients okay so i'm going to spread it out evenly and it looks a little runny it is a warm out but it will freeze and it tastes very good okay so now i'm going to put some plastic wrap on it and pop it right into my freezer okay you can also taste it if you want all right Okay, so here is our vanilla ice cream, which I did in the um, 
I whipped up the cream. I added um, evaporated milk and I added some vanilla extract and also the bean pot. So let's look at it. All right, so this is it. It's been about six hours and I actually softened it up a little bit. So it's easier to scoop. So it easily scoops. I, I kept it out for about five minutes. And a very strong vanilla. So this one's fun. I already showed you the chocolate one as well. All right, good luck.